What is up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to install the brand new Cadence theme, along with importing some starter templates so that you can get your website started off on the right foot. Let's get right into it. So this is just a standard installation of WordPress that I have on a test site of mine right now. So this is, when you're just starting a, a website, this is what your website will look like. In order to get the Cadence theme onto your website, you'll wanna to go to Appearance, Themes, and in here, you'll see a lot of the WordPress defaults. So right now I get the 2017, I get 2019 and the 2020 themes. I like to delete these because I generally don't use them and I just like having a clean board. So I'm gonna go in the 2017 theme here, delete this, 2019, I'll delete this. And that will leave just the 2020 theme for now. Now in order to get the Cadence theme installed onto your website, you'll wanna to go to the add new button right next to themes here. Right now, the Cadence theme is not in the WordPress repository. Um, it will be coming around October 2020-ish. It takes some time for the WordPress team to approve a theme, and right now it's pending. So it will eventually be in here and you'll be able to download it from here, but for now, I'll show you how you can get it. Um, so you'll wanna go just to a new tab and go to startblogging101.com slash cadence. And if you go there, it'll bring you directly to the Cadence theme page where they'll have a, they'll have a download directly for the free theme. So you'll see this free download button right here. Just click this button. It'll ask you if you wanna provide your email address. Uh, feel free if you want to. They'll send some updates whenever they have updates. Um, otherwise, you can just say, no thanks, I just want to download the, the theme zip file. So I'm gonna click this. That will install the theme and drop it down here. So you can come back here and back on the add themes page, there's an upload theme button. So if you click this, you'll get a, a choose file option and you can just take this and drag it right there and it'll put that the cadence.zip file there and the install now button will light up. Click this and this will go and automatically install the cadence theme for you. So while we're waiting for that, it says theme installed successfully. So that's great. Uh, now just click this middle activate button to activate it. And you'll see that the cadence theme is now active on our site, that simple. Um, now the 2020 theme, I, I don't need this anymore either because we have the Cadence theme installed and active on our site. So I'm just going to delete this. This is just a personal preference of mine. And now we just have the Cadence theme. So if you go now and visit your site, you'll see that you have the Cadence theme installed here. And I already like the look of just the basic out of the box Cadence theme. Um, it has some styling that, that looks really good, but it's not extremely styled, you know, to make it super opinionated or anything. Um, but I, right off the bat, I like, I, I like the look of the Cadence theme quite a bit. Uh, so if we go back just to your WordPress page here, we're now going to uh, get the theme updated because there might be updates that you need. So I can see right up here, I have an update. So if I click here, It'll tell you what version you currently have installed and it'll tell you what you should update to. So I'm just gonna select all and click update themes. And what this will do is it'll just get you the latest uh, Cadence theme. Sometimes the download isn't the latest and greatest that they have out there. Um, so you'll wanna just double check and make sure that you have that for all the latest features. So it says Cadence updated successfully. So that's great. So I have the latest there. Um, so now if you just go right back to the appearance page, it says, hey, thanks for choosing the Cadence theme. Do you want to get started with a beautiful starter template? Yeah, sounds great. Uh, so let's go right in and all you have to do is click this install Cadence starter templates button. This will install the starter templates. It'll automatically activate it and you'll get brought to the Cadence starter template page. And here are all the starter templates that they have. Now, if you're watching this at a later date, I know that they are working on several more of these right now, so you may see several more in here, in which case, awesome. Um, but right now, these are the ones that are offered and there's a great start. 
Um, so just go through whatever ones uh, looks closest to the site that you are looking to build. Um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to choose the SAS starter template here. So if you choose that, you'll see that they give you a preview of the site. And this is just a beautiful uh, starter template that they have for a SaaS website. So you can see that they have a number of different boxes. Uh, these are all built with Cadence Blocks. And what Cadence Blocks is, is it's their free Gutenberg plugin that extends the capabilities of Gutenberg to give you more blocks and features uh, that, the, that the core WordPress Gutenberg doesn't currently give you. Um, so you can just see that they have just beautiful images, different, different buttons, different colors, all tied to their global color palette and uh, pricing tables and everything. So you can just click around through all the pages and see what, what you like. But one really cool feature of Cadence is they have a global color palette. And that, and when you define your global color palette, it goes and it automatically changes different areas in your website. Um, so I'll just, show, I'll just show you here. So if you like this color, fine. Otherwise, if you wanna change it, you can as well. So I'm gonna choose this. And I love this color palette here. It, it gives a nice dark theme. So it has dark background, light text. You can see um, all the way throughout the site, all those colors were applied. And yeah, I, I really love the look of this one. There's a, there's a light version of this one. I mean, they have, they have greens, they have blues, any color really that you want. Um, and if one of these color palettes doesn't work for you, that's fine. Um, I actually have a, a blog post on my website teaching you exactly how to use the global color palette to define your brand and everything. So make sure to check that out. Um, for now, I'm just gonna choose this one because I really like this one. And now that I'm hidden, uh, once you look down here, you'll see that it says required plugins, cadence blocks, which is not installed. But don't worry, once you import any of these starter templates, it will automatically find any plugins that are not installed that are needed and it'll automatically install those and activate those for you so that you'll get all of the blocks and everything that the starter template has. So once you have chosen the correct starter template that you want that cl most closely resembles the site you wanna build and you have your, your color scheme chosen, all you have to do then is hit the import button. And here, uh, one, one important note is that this importer is, is designed for new slash empty sites with no content. So you'll wanna be very careful if you have a current existing site you probably don't want to import a starter template just if you're trying to get the, the design or something like that. You can always just tweak your global color palette for that. Um, but I would just use this starter template on brand new websites. That's where you're going to have the, the cleanest, the cleanest uh, method. Um, so you'll see here it, it says starter template plugins, cadence blocks. You can see your selected color palette. That all looks good. I'm going to click start importing. And this will go and it'll check and make sure that all the required plugins are there. Like I said, it'll install Cadence Blocks. It will import all the demo content, so it'll give you all your pages, all these posts, which is just a nice slew of, of, of test data to get your site started. Um, so it's finished. View your site. Easy enough. You just have to click this button. And here's my site. So within a few minutes, I took a completely blank site and made it look like this with their starter template, which is awesome. And as I said, uh, mentioned several times, the Cadence Blocks is installed here, so all of these blocks and everything are all laid out perfectly. You can click around and just see the different, the different features that they offer. I mean, they have pricing tables, they have FAQs with an accordion table, which looks awesome here. Um, you can go up, there's sample blog posts that they give you. now. It's not gonna have super great data per se. You know, these are just some sample posts. So they're just gonna throw a lot of lorem ipsum text in here to just show you what it's gonna look like on your site. But it's really nice because you can start to see what the site all looks like. Um, they have a contact page. You know, this is, this is using the form block from Cadence Blocks where you can have uh, any of your customers on your website contact you. You could use this for a subscribe to your newsletter. Uh, 
there, there's tons of options that they give here. So we now have the, the starter template imported onto the website and the website looks like this. I'm gonna go back to my WordPress page here and this is where now you can just, you can build on, on your site. You can, you can take the data and make it your own. Um, I would maybe go into your users here and maybe add any users that might be writing posts or pages on your website. Probably the biggest thing you'll wanna do is you'll wanna go into your posts here. You can see here are the four posts that they imported here. Obviously these aren't gonna have any value for you, so you could just delete these, but then you could start to add your own posts. And then another thing that I wanna show real quick before the end here is you could go into your pages, and these are all the pages that I was just clicking through. So if you go to home here, once this loads, um, it'll say, hey, welcome to the new block editor. And you can see here, these. this is the page that we were just looking at. So you can just click in here and you can start playing around with these cadence blocks. And you can see that you get all these options on the right side. And I mean, you can start tweaking things. You can change colors, you can change sizes, anything that you want, you, you, can, you can do. Um, I do wanna just show you the global color palette quick. So I'm just going to leave here, go back into appearance and customize. And in here under general, you'll see colors. And this is where your global color palette is defined. Just the one that you chose. And one thing that's nice is you can go in here and you can change the colors to any colors that match your brand. So say one of those predefined color palettes weren't for you, that's fine. You can just come in here and change your colors. Otherwise you could open up this folder and they have all the predefined um, color palette in here again. So you can go and you're like, hey, I want, I want, I, I like this blue better. It just fits, it fits our company better. You could do that. You could publish your changes and it's as simple as that. So that's about it. Um, it you can see that within a few minutes, uh, we got the brand new Cadence theme installed on your website. And I showed you how to import some starter templates. It's extremely simple uh, to get an amazing looking website within a matter of minutes. Um, I'm super excited for the starter templates that, that they're going to be coming out with in the future, which I'm sure you'll see. And uh, if, yeah, if you like this video, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up, uh, hit that subscribe button and make sure to ring that bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video.